Uh, we just know uh, that uh, allowing people to uh, make their own choices on uh, whether they're uh, how they're feeling, whether they're at risk, uh, what they're choosing to do to keep safe. Uh, we still, obviously, are going to see public health authorities and uh, local authorities uh, make recommendations on the best choices people can make to stay safe, uh, and it'll be important that people do that. But the biggest thing people can do is do what we did during the uh, first waves of uh, the pandemic when Canadians went out and got vaccinated. Uh, that is one of the reasons why Canada has uh, seen less of an impact of COVID-19 in terms of deaths, in terms of economic loss and damage as well uh, than many other countries. Canadians did that. People chose to go out and do the right thing and get their vaccinations. So now, this fall, as people are looking at getting their flu shots, people also need to think about getting uh, up to date in their COVID boosters so that we can make it through this winter with as minimal disruption uh, to our healthcare systems, to our economic functioning, but also to the health and safety of Canadians. But you decided against a coercive approach. I'm trying to understand that. Right now, uh, the numbers and the recommendations of experts uh, clearly said that uh, the uh, border measures are no longer necessary. Uh, and travel measures are no longer necessary.